Hey, what's up, fam? Hey, today I'm doing some, uh, some fried jack mackerel. You guys understand what I'm saying? Pretty much some mackerel. Like salmon croquettes, whatever you want to, you know. Still all in the same flavor. But, uh, the process to this, hey, if you ever made a meatloaf, it's pretty much the same process. Ain't, ain't too much different about it. Right now, I'm cutting up your onion. Nice up some uh, peppers in there. And we're gonna get started. So I'm just trying to dice it up a little bit right now. Who playing right now? I saw you peeking out at the game. <laughs> hey, Buffalo just got upset by Minnesota. Oh, man. That it would. I got my cow boys in Green Bay right now. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna rush through the process without a serious thing that's going on. <laughs> you know. Yeah, we don't want no so negative time. <laughs> hey, y'all, hey. This, 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 what I'm doing, I'm doing some uh, Jack Mackerel, I'm doing some uh, white rice, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna do some corn. Biscuit. When I do my corn, you know, I'm gonna show y'all, hey, I, I have to jazz mine up a little bit. His corn is not really what we call corn. <laughs> His no. corn got all types of flakes going on in it. You got a whole nother meal with the corn. <laughs> Take me a little olive oil. I can find it. <laughs> and I'm gonna saute them off a little bit. Let the olive oil get a little hot. Y'all gotta keep up with me today, you know what I'm saying? I'm moving around a little bit. Yes, indeed. These ain't acting up on me. Have us a dizzy episode. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come to the people, baby. Mm -hmm. I just came back from um, the little kitty. Really I'm really drained, you mean? <laughs> Running really around with three year olds. I'm too old for this. I don't know what I was thinking. Are there any geriatric parents out there that were pregnant after 35? What were you thinking? <laughs> Had I known then what I know now. <laughs> Not at all. Clearly. But she is a blessing to my wife. That she wear you out. She's the average three-year-old. She's a little old lady in a toddler body. I don't even know if we're gonna get him to keep cooking on Sunday during football. Really gonna get <laughs> on Sunday, I'm still do what I do. And y'all, he thinks Uncle Ben's is the only race that you could ever. Hey, look! Use. If you come from where I come from, and you like white rice, long grain. Ain't nobody else better than them. Now, they call it beans original, when it used to be Uncle Beans. Mm -hmm. We don't do that minute rice and all that other old white rice. Rice land is just Rice ain't rice. <laughs> rice is not rice. <laughs> Y'all better talk to her, man. I be trying to school my girl. She don't be listening. I listen sometimes. <laughs> white rice, Uncle Beans. Mm -hmm. Okay, y'all, so I'm gonna Soften these. That's gonna take about five minutes. That's all. Right, that's sauteing off. I already drained my mackerel. I'm gonna put that in the, in the bowl. Y'all see, I got my rice going. So we work. Tell Santa what you want for Christmas? Uh, I don't get nothing. I don't get nothing. <laughs> hey, are you on the naughty list? I'm on the good list. I just don't eat stuff. I don't eat any stuff. What's your cap? Whatever cap I am at night. <laughs> <laughs> so he just cut you off? He cut me off. <laughs> I was mad. Mm. 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 I want something. Your, your youngest want to put the tree up already. It ain't even Thanksgiving. Well, I, I see people got their license for a football. Yeah, you know I'm here for it. 
No, I'm You normally go after Thanksgiving. That was the tradition back in the day. The traditions done changed. Yes, indeed. These kids ain't got the patience we was forced to have. No. Keyword being forced. <laughs> Yeah, that's what you want to call. Mm hmm. It's just how our parents did stuff back then. Yeah, we had a lot of rules. Kids today got a voice. They got voices. That's where the problem is. Opinion. That's where the problem is. <laughs> they got a voice. Who gave them one? I damn sure ain't gave mine, man. <laughs> it is what I said. All right, y'all. I see the onions, they starting to get a little translucent. That's what you want. You know, you don't want to overcook. Once your onions start getting translucent, you want your peppers to turn and get a little, little darker, then you're good to go. So what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna let this do what it do. I'm gonna I'm show y'all what seasons I'm gonna do on. Then we're gonna start frying some mackerel. All right, we'll be back. That's it right there, y'all. All right, y'all, be back. All right, so I, I incorporated the uh, onions and peppers in there. Add my, my seasonings to it. Hey, if you don't know, Definitely gotta have some garlic powder in there. And I'm gonna go about two tablespoons of it. That ain't number two cans of Jack Mackerel. But you do want it to have flavor to it. I'm using some soft free seasoning. Hey, I was checking out a video of somebody doing some Jack Mackerel. I seen them do some, some lime. Mm. I don't touch that, y'all. I, I keep mine face where I was brought up on it. A little sea salt. I couldn't find the obey up in the uh, pantry. So I'm using soul food seasoning, y'all. I mean, some uh, fish seasoning. Yep, you got it. I don't know what he did with the old bag. Yeah, but I did. <laughs> That's right, but I did. Yep, I don't know. I don't think did. on this this, this, this uh, fish seasoning that you got to use too much of because it's really salty. Pepper, and like I said, this always put me in the mind of doing a meatloaf. With meatloaf, you know, you use you use bread and eggs as your binder. You know what I'm saying? It'll crumble apart if you don't. Huh? Right. With this, with this macro, if you pour salmon croquette, because basically it's pretty much the same thing. You got options. I'm gonna use some, some bread crumbs on this one, but you can use some crackers. You can use some cornmeal. You no, know, that's that's. I don't like cornmeal because I don't like the grit. So I would use cornmeal. I'm gonna use some bread crumbs this time, but I have used crackers that I. And it turns out just mm. so. If you're short on one and you got another, you know what I'm saying? You can always and use that. I mean, don't don't make a big deal out of the big fuss. It's gonna still turn out the same way. So I'm gonna incorporate my eggs to it. And micro eight. Even though it's a fish, it don't put off that fishy smell. When you fry it, put you more like in a, like you fry some chicken or something. Mm. No. Them croquettes have your house smell like croquettes for a week. Yeah. But this might work out. But you want to make sure that this is fine and really good tight. You ain't got enough green crumbs or crack or whatever you trust me. I'm gonna show y'all the consistency of how the, the macro should look before you start frying it. Put hold it together. Y'all uh, see the grease is hot? I'm going in. And when you do these uh, jack macros, even if you, that's like you'll do a croquette, lay them in there. 
because that grease is hot. You don't want that grease splashing up on you, because it's definitely going to burn. If you sizzle them, it ain't going to work. Just on the top and the bottom, you know, just to uh, let it get a crust. And when you find that mackerel, just like you find that, that uh, croquette, don't have your skills up on high. Because it's going to cook too fast, and that means just cooking on the outside and not on the inside. Medium, that's where you want to be at. That way it's going to get a good, nice, crisp cook on the outside, and it's going to be nice and hot on the inside. Gotcha. Y'all remember that. He always fussing at me about having my skillet up too high. That, you, don't want, you don't need to cook too fast. You definitely don't want to cook too slow. If it's cook too slow, it's going to break apart. All right? Say, well, mama. So we're going to let these uh, Jack Mackles cook. I got the rice going. I'm going to put some corn on. And when I get done with all that, Come back and let y'all see what we're working with for today. Let, let me, I'm gonna flip them so they, so they can see what it looks like. Okay. What you're looking for is a nice golden brown on that side. Y'all see that? That's good right there. Flip it all over. I got enough mark. Yeah, flip it all over. That's what you're looking for. Some croquet. Some, some Jack Michaels might cook faster than others. That's nice, though. You ain't got number time. Right. Don't forget that. I'm coming. Oh, yeah. That's the color you want. Huh? Mm hmm. It, if you stay back, it won't. Got a full rice. Y'all see, it's almost ready. So you put sugar and butter on your rice. Oh. What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> you heard me. Sugar and butter? Yes. Sugar and butter? Yes. Man, that ain't no damn rice. You grown, huh? You don't do that. I do sugar and butter. I on my rice. Where that come from? It came uh, from the kitchen. Damn, sugar and butter, that's some salt and pepper on No, it's some down south stuff. That's real, that's real easy. They had a debate about people from St. Louis and I think Memphis and Mississippi eating, eating spaghetti with uh fish. They said you ain't supposed to. Hey, I was at my, my, I was at my, my nephew football game a couple weekends ago in St. Louis. Some old crazy ass game with the ball. <laughs> she said she got some chili from the cons cons confectionery stand. <laughs> She ain't got no sugar. Mm. So they put sugar on they chili. I don't so y'all know that sparked a great big old conversation. Where was she from? St. Louis. What the uh, Somebody from somewhere else taught her that. She put sugar on spaghetti. I've heard she of that. She put sugar on, no, you know, salt and pepper. White rice, butter, salt and pepper. Oh, no. Come on now. Y'all know what I'm y'all know what I'm talking about. Piece of a uh, turkey sausage, link, slice him up. Like, like my guest said, my corn be pretty much a meal by itself. I love to watch them cook, y'all. That's just how I like to do mine. Y'all might like it too. Try. Tell us what you think. You know. So they say they got a hold up. On this student loan debt, forgive me. <laughs> man, man, what? I'm about ready to pull up at somebody's house. Whoever responds. They don't, they don't, they playing games with the student loan <laughs> forgiveness. <laughs> yeah. They know how to make me mad they right before the house. They know where I need that forgiveness. <laughs> they know this. If I don't get forgiven for nothing else, I need Uncle, that. <laughs> I was calling him Uncle Joe. His name is just fucking Joe now. <laughs> Uh, playing these type of games. <laughs> he ain't Uncle Joe no more, y'all. I don't think it's his fault. <laughs> he started this, so it's his damn fault. Yeah, he should have had this all figured out. All that should have been worked out before he talked about it. <laughs> no, I need that look, that look forgiveness. Nah, he's playing games with it now. Shit. That's the difference me getting a house and an apartment. 
<laughs> right. You know what I'm saying, y'all? What big worm say? When you play with my money. Play with my emotions. Exactly. Don't do that. <laughs> no, don't do me like that, baby. Exactly. All right, y'all, I got this corn going. So what I did, I, I sauteed me some onions and peppers. I cut up me some turkey sauce to slice it up. I seasoned that thing, you know what I'm saying, with a little, with a little sea sauce, I mean, a little uh, uh, salt-free seasoning, a little garlic powder, a little black pepper, and that was it. That's all it need. I don't put butter in this or nothing. I'm going to let this cook for about 10 minutes. Whew. Hey, I fuck with corn. I don't know about y'all. I can eat corn and rice every day. Yes, you he know? can. I can eat corn and rice every day. Damn it, But yeah, that's it. All right, we'll be back with the plate yeah, for y'all. Okay. Y'all see the rice already ready. So all we waiting on is uh, the corn to get ready, and we ready to eat. All right. So that's it. Back about y'all see what that uh macro looking like. We got some uh white rice right there, some corn, a biscuit. I go with hot sauce on mine. I don't know what y'all might go with on y'all. This is how I do mine. <laughs> you know, I got some Franks on that. So this is where we at today. Sunday football. This is what we doing today. Fried macro. I right, y'all remember one thing. Every meal cooked with love. Fulfilling. Enjoy y'all Sunday. And peace out. <laughs>